Good morning. So today is three days past transfer. And since it was a six day embryo, t today would technically be like nine, nine DPO. So when I was found out I was pregnant with Willow on four days past transfer, I got like a super, 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 super faint line. That I actually didn't know until the next day that I had. So I decided to test today. Because I tomorrow would be 10 days past like 10 days past ovulation. Like you were gonna go through that. Or four days past the six-day transfer. So I'm gonna take this one and this one. You know me, it's like three something in the morning, so <laughs> we will see. I'm not really expecting to see a line um, because it's only three days past a six day transfer, but you guys know me, I cannot not test, so we will do this. You know, I like wasting pregnancy tests, that's, what, that's my hobby. <laughs> This is just the little Walmart TP one. Just gonna keep that. Sure, it starts going. Hello. There it goes. And then the Walmart TP. One, two, three. All right. Wait. All right. So it's been three minutes. I don't expect to see anything. It would be nice. I don't know if that's like the faintest line or is it just my eyes like messing with me? But I think I do see a super, super, super faint line, but it could be going crazy. Oh god. So this is why I should have waited till tomorrow, but I'm like Alright. So I do think I see a super duper 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 faint line on both of them. Like almost non existent line. It's barely four o'clock in the morning. So 
I will test tomorrow and hopefully see a line. Okay, so it is still three days past uh, transfer and I decided it's like 15 hours later to do another one. Just to see sometimes, you know, it can be stronger at nighttime for some people. So I want to theory. So I'll update on the other two. So. <sighs> this one, I don't know if you can see, but it is a super, super faint line there. This one though. Is nothing. Nothing. So anyways, that was that. So let's just see. With my PM P. One, two, three. Okay. So I just came back from Black Friday shopping with my mom. And I got a couple more of the Walmart cheapies. Um, so we will see. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. So definitely still going to test tomorrow morning and then Sunday. Because I'm hoping by Sunday I'll have an answer. Whether it's still negative. If it's still not negative by Sunday, then I think the chances are probably a lot lower. And a lot slimmer than it took. So now I also am a, neg I'm a what do they call it? A negative Nancy, a Debbie Downer, because I sometimes feel like the first one worked no problem. You know, and then we had the issues that we had with Willa being so sick and what are the chances of me getting pregnant again? So, so like the next chance for like, nope, like everybody says it, they theirs failed, mine didn't. So I'm thinking, am I that lucky to get pregnant again on my second transfer? Probably not. So I am a big Debbie Downer, a negative Nancy. How long has it been? All right, I'll come back in a couple minutes. Okay. I just hope you can still see that little super, super faint line. Because that'll still give me hope. I hope there's just no line. No, there's not no line. Because then that's going to be it. for me so okay here it goes See tomorrow, but I doubt it. Anything's gonna change in the next couple hours. Big womp womp. Good morning. So it's about three o'clock on Saturday, the twenty seventh of November. Today is day four, past six day transfer. So technically 10 DPO if you weren't if you didn't get transferred. So two pen and one of these. I don't really know how to Concentrated in my urine is because 
actually got up at, I went to bed early. I went to bed at like 8 o'clock. And then I got up at like 11.30. I went to the bathroom. And now it's 3, so... I don't know how I really feel if it's gonna be anything because I took one at six o'clock last night or six thirty and there was nothing. So that kinda sucked. Actually let me see now. Oh there's a faint super faint line on this one. Now that it's dry. Definitely more prominent than this one. Interesting. We'll see. it goes through. So if I can see a faint line on, just turn it over. If I can see a faint line, I'm going to do a digital. I do have clear blue digitals coming in the mail today, but I do have a rapid one. So I'll have, there is some kind of line. I'll have to wait until the clear blue comes through today and do it later in the day. So we'll see. All right. So let's wait. Okay. I'm so Do you see a faint line on here? Like a super faint line. But see, I'm so nervous to call it because I'm scared of this chemical. But there's a super, super, super faint line on this test. Oh. 
right, you guys. So my package came in. Literally just came in. So it's okay if it says not. I'm a, my mind is gonna process that because it could be too early. But I hope it says positive pregnant. I'm so mad about this. scratch-off tickets. I know it was like an impulse because I didn't know if I was or not. I still don't really know if I am or not. I mean, this morning's test, I don't know if you can really see it. You probably can't, but there's like a super faint line. But I know you guys can't see it. But this scratch-off says, um, I think this one's just a random, has different symbols on it. And then the prize, it says we're pregnant. So I thought that was cute. Especially since it's coming around Christmas time. So. But I'm still thinking. <laughs> I'm so nervous. We will see. I'll show you guys at the same time. Mm, not pregnant. Dang. Hopefully tomorrow, that will be different. Sucks, but I just had a feeling I was gonna say that. I kind of get lucky two transfers in a row because this line is like super duper faint. And all I can do is hope for a darker line tomorrow and potentially a positive. Tomorrow. So. What makes me nervous with this is before my transfer, I was getting positives. You guys know that. So, because like, they were super faint, just like this. 
only thing is, is like when I look on day three, there's nothing. And it was super faint on day four. So it keeps my hope alive, I guess. We'll see tomorrow. All right, until then.